okay so we'll do a quick wrap wrap up of what we've been seeing so far right romans 1 what is the section we saw so far so he started with the greeting them yeah and then he wrote about his longing to go to rome yeah and then he introduces the, the righteous shall live by faith so it just introduces what it means by righteous yeah so he kind of talks there that for i'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is a power of god for salvation to everyone who believes to the jew first and also to the greek so then he was writing about like to the religious people and to the thinkers yeah greek or like like it's a, mm, yeah for in it the righteousness of god is revealed from faith for faith as it is written the righteous shall live by faith so this is the key verse in that the righteousness of god is revealed from faith for faith yeah so we have faith that god's righteousness is going to be revealed to us individually yeah we know by knowledge but even our heart like it's going to be revealed to every one of our heart so then we looked at god's wrath on unrighteousness so we look at looked at all the wickedness wickedness in the world yeah the wicked people and their thinking and right so the whole humanity is divided into the completely like wicked people the evil yeah hmm? who are doing against humanity right then and then we looked at god's righteous judgment right what happened was he also just left right so the people who who said we don't want any god and he also left them right so that like you see and what was the result of that so the end result of that is though they know god's righteousness that those who practice such things deserve to die they not only do them but give approval to those who practice them hmm we saw that then we saw about god's righteous judgment right that that now we looked at them religious people yeah and then we looked at and then he was explaining there that yeah you are religious good and you are preaching good but you are not practicing in your individual life there are areas where you lose your self control yeah so when you lose self control in certain areas now people people look at it as hypocrites hypocrisy Hmm? God wants to be religious. No, it's not God wants to be religious. He's writing, he's addressing, right? So within the people, now people will glorify their religious rituals, practices, their doings. But why is God saying yeah? good for them? He's not saying good for it. He's explaining the discrepancies in it. you are doing good rituals i mean you are doing the rituals practices all of it but they think carefully what you are preaching are you practicing in your individual life hmm so he gave the examples of like what you are preaching of god's ways is showing that you do not have the ability to practice yeah so he's pointing he so so he's going towards that right so what did we see about the the status of all men right so as the scripture says 
whether insiders or outsiders all start out on identical conditions and all continue also continue right like you may have you may have conquered certain things but still there will be areas where the individual the individual heart be ashamed of which it can't share with anybody else hmm see that so all like all are starting it out as sinners so we saw it as nobody living right not even one nobody who knows the score nobody alert for god they've all taken the wrong turn they all have wandered down blind alleys no one is living right i can't find a single one their throats are gaping graves their tongues slickers mud slides every word they speak is tinged with poison they open their mouths and pollute the air the race for the honor of sinner of the year Litter the land with heartbreak and ruin. Don't know the first thing about living with others. They never give God the time of day. This makes it clear, doesn't it? That whatever is written in these scriptures is not what God says about others. That is, other people who don't follow God. It is, but to us, to whom these scriptures were addressed in the first place, and it's clear enough isn't it that we are sinners every one of us in the same thinking boat with everybody else see the 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 last two lines don't know the first thing about living with others they never give god the time of the day right our involvement with god's revelation doesn't put us right with god so this is very very important our involvement with god's revelation meaning the knowledge of god the ways of god right and all of those it doesn't put us right with god what it does is force us to face our participation in everyone's everyone else's sin yeah the ways of the god the laws the commandments all of it it forces us to face that hooks is a participating like everybody else there are certain things right which i'm not able to get over but in our time something new has been added you see so now this is what is talking about now in our time something new has been added across the time of history now there is something new that is coming what is that what moses and the prophets witnessed all those years has happened so moses and prophets they witnessed already what did they witness they witnessed the spirit of god working in earth yeah what they witnessed all those years has happened the spirit of god working and also showing them that there is it's savior like man needs a savior yeah the god setting things right that we read about has become jesus setting things right for us and not only for us but for everyone who believes in him for there's no difference between us and them in this since we have compiled this long and sorry record as sinners both us and them and prove that we are utterly incapable of living the glorious lives god wills for us god did it for us out of sheer generosity he put us in right standing with himself a pure gift he got us out of the mess we are in and restored us to where he always wanted us to be so now he's introducing him okay, what is this pure gift who oh, is got out of the mess we are in and restored us to where he always wanted us to be and he did it by means of jesus christ now what it means is what like you going to see further so god sacrificed jesus on the altar of the world to clear that world of sin so this kind of like in a very, very condensed way just like states altar of the world to clear that world of sin having faith in him sets us in the clear god decided on this course of action in full view of the public to set the world in the clear with himself 
through the sacrifice of Jesus, finally taking care of the sins he had so patiently endured. Yeah. So, what he's saying is taking care of the sins, right? Because any wrongdoings, the primary need we know, justice had to be met. Yeah. So, God to be punished. Yeah. So when we do immoral things, when we do wrong things, our conscience condemns us, whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, this is a way human beings are designed. So the conscience condemns, so there lays a guilt, whether you recognize it or not. But the Spirit of God keeps working in us in all of us that we'll recognize at some point in time. Yeah? So now, uh, so God sacrificed Jesus on the altar of the world to clear that world of sin. Having faith in him, sets us in the clear, God decided on this course of action in full view of the public to set the world in the clear with himself through the sacrifice of Jesus. So it's like a substitutionary punishment. Right? The punishment of all the wrongs of the humanity is somehow substituted it upon the sacrifice of Jesus for my sins, for your sins. Yeah? This is not only clear, but it is now. That is, this is current history. God sets things right. He also makes it possible for us to live in his rightness. So where does that leave our proud Jewish insider claims and counterclaims? So here, like the proud Jewish insider claims and counterclaims, you can substitute it with any religions of this current world. Yeah? The religions, insider claims and counterclaims. Cancelled. Yes, cancelled. What you have learned is this. God does not respond to what we do. We respond to what God does. This is a very, very important thing. Okay. Many people, many believers think that God responds to what we do. Yeah. God does not respond to what we do. We respond to what God does. We have finally figured it out. Our lives get in step with God and all others by letting Him set the pace, not by proudly or anxiously trying to run the parade. You see? Like, not by proudly or anxiously trying to like follow God or like, like run the parade. Our lives get in step with God and all others by letting Him set the pace. Meaning, we observe what God is doing. Right? We learn. We also observe. And we also practice what we learn. And where does it leave our uh, proud Jewish claim of having a corner on God? You see, we're saying, where does it leave our proud religious claim of having, like, we have, like, we have a special privilege with God. That's also cancelled. God is a God of outsider, non-Jewish. And all other, like, religions, as well as insider, insider Jews. How could it be otherwise since there is only one God? You see, only one God. God sets right all who welcome his action and enter into it. Both those who follow our religious system and those who have never heard of our religion. But by shifting our focus from what we do to what God does, don't we cancel out all our careful keeping of the rules and ways God commanded? 
but by shifting our focus from what we do to what god does don't we cancel out all of our careful keeping of the rules and ways god commanded not at all what happens in fact is that putting that entire way of life in its proper place we confirm it meaning now when we look at now god and when we have decided that i'm going to now put him in the center follow him in the center then naturally next question would be all right what does he say what does he expect how does he think how does he work yeah so we go hmm? ah okay time up oh yeah okay so that is way right like putting all those things now we see that all of it now comes back to its place of learning more about him through the scriptures here yeah? so can you outline what we have seen so far today hmm outline yeah just uh, uh, mm. yeah you can do it ma hmm ऑफ़ ओके Hmm. So he has said the things right. Yeah, because now there is a punishment that has happened, right? And in a miraculous divine way, that substitution is accepted. Yeah, and when we believe in it, we receive that as a gift. Yeah. So we will see further on what this means, right? Okay.